Miles, what's the just excitement level for another chance to get it to go out there with some different jerseys on the field? Uh, I mean, obviously, super excited. Got to see like a real good environment last time, so the the bar is set pretty high for the fans to come out and show out and support us, which is we know they're going to do, which is very exciting and just uh, another chance to all be in one dugout, which is pretty pretty cool. What was it about AM that this was the place you uh, you wanted to be? Um, I think the big thing was just kind of the environment, like the coaches and coaching staff create here. Just a very you know a, a loose environment where we're able to have a lot of fun, but also be able to work really hard and really get developed uh, in, in all different sorts of ways, on and off the field, in our personal lives and in the baseball. Uh, specific coach, what is it like working with uh, Jason Kelly on a daily basis? Um, it's awesome. He's got a lot of uh, experience in a lot of different areas of you know pitching and life and just pitching at very many different levels. He's got a lot of family, fam uh, brother in the big leagues, and just having all that uh, to shape his perspective is pretty cool because he's able to help us in a lot of different facets of the game. And he's also pitched in all different sorts of roles, so he's able to help guys who are starters, guys who are relievers, just anything. And I mean, even the team as a whole is able to help a lot just from his experience being a head coach. So he's definitely a very, very good piece to work with. When it comes to a couple of weeks ago in the exhibition against HCU, uh, where does that crowd size rank on the largest crowds you pitched in front of? And how did it, what does it mean to have the 12 man support like that for an exhibition? Um, that's definitely the biggest crowd I've ever pitched in front of. And I think just being able to see that in a fall game is, is pretty special. And then just knowing that, I mean, you can only imagine what the season's going to be like if. That's what we're doing for a fall exhibition game. So definitely could feel the support out there, could feel the energy coming off them. And it's like everybody had told me before, but I really got to see it, how they're just engaged in every single pitch throughout the whole thing. For anybody who hasn't been able to see you pitch before, what, how would you kind of describe yourself as a pitcher and, and uh, what, what they'll be expecting from you? Um, I would say for myself, I'm just going to be ultra competitive out there, fill up the zone, really keep a a simple plan of just staying committed and just blowing up the strike zone and trying to have fun while doing that. So I think uh, that would be my, my strongest attribute, probably just competitiveness and just committing to blowing up the zone. Is there anything in particular you've been working on this off season, this fall, uh, pitches or anything of that nature? Um, obviously just trying to get all the shapes and all that analytical side of it, getting that better. I've really been trying to work on developing a change to have a strong third pitch. But I would say the most important thing that I've been doing is just honing in the mental game uh, and just being able to work with some guys and a lot of veterans on the pitching staff to really just hone in like a very simplistic approach to the game and just has given me a lot of confidence to go out there. How do you feel like you guys have kind of with all the transfers and everything in this team uh, kind of mesh this ball and what's kind of the, uh, the, the, the feel of the team, the chemistry right now? Um, I, it's funny, I told my dad like the very, one of the very first team meetings we had like I don't feel like I've ever been on a team where the coaching staff and the players just was such a good fit for each other, if that makes sense. I think the coaches put a lot of responsibility on us to kind of manage ourselves in a way and be able to uh, take responsibility for our own actions and what we do off the field and on the field. And I think that we've done a great job with handling that and being able to be a responsible group, get our work done, always work hard. And I think it's just a great fit overall. It's a light pitching to this offense. It's tough, for sure. It's, it's hard. I mean, we keep a pretty simplistic approach, just trying to throw as many strikes as possible, not, not being afraid of them. But um, it's good to, to face such a strong offense, for sure. I mean, nothing's going to prepare you better than facing the best guys. So even with three of our best hitters out, it's, it's still a, I mean, it's an unbelievable offense. And it's like you're facing the eight hole, and you think, oh, maybe I'll be able to get an out here like easy. But no, there's no, there's no hole, in, even right now, in the offense. Do you play any SEC teams out there in Long Beach? We didn't, no. Mm. What, do you, what do you anticipate the, the style of play difference might be like? And have you kind of gotten a little taste of it, even though it's just kind of between yourselves so far? Um, I would say a little less bunting, a little less small game like that. I think the guys are going to be trying to swing a little bit harder and try to hit some more home runs, which is, is definitely a cool uh, approach. And I think, obviously, with the fan bases and great stadiums, great venues, it's going to be a lot, uh, a lot of action, a lot of excitement every single weekend, no matter who you're playing. So I think just overall going to be a very exciting conference and a very exciting gauntlet to go through. Yeah, you, you said you're a guy that likes to go after and attack. Uh, how does how does the different styles of play maybe change kind of your mindset when you're on the mound at all? Um, for me, nothing really changes. No matter who we're facing, no matter who's in the box, 
whether it's Jace or it's a freshman from like a small school around here, like uh, doesn't doesn't matter. It's it's the same approach to every single guy, just trying to blow up the middle of the strike zone and not be afraid of anyone. And I think it's a it's a trait that our entire pitching staff really has been embodying. I know that's been a thing here for a while, and I think that uh, us new guys have really bought into that and really been able to adapt and just really take some big strides with that approach. Anything in particular you've been emphasizing or your coach has been emphasizing in order for you to keep a similar strikeout clip uh, against this type of hitting that you're going to really need to make sure you're executing on these aspects? Um, well, I think like just with the approach of just trying to throw our best stuff in the zone, it uh, it takes – or I think it gives you a little more room to have your best intent every pitch. So. Obviously, in the SEC, the, the swing and miss and the chase is going to be less than a conference I've played in before. But um, I think with our approach, it's, it's uh, you're able to do the same thing by just competing in the zone and having your best intent within the zone.